I'm sorry, say that again. Hey, do you want to let me drive? Oh, do I ever. <laughs> They gave me my license. I'm petrified. fied ah. Oh, excuse my mouth. And I'm gonna be the world's best backseat driver. Here we go. Come on, let's go. Well, you just watched the road. I don't know if it's legal to film someone's first drive. <laughs> I don't know if it's legal what you did to me for the past five <laughs> months while I was driving. Here's, here's the irony. I haven't, aside from in the parking lot, the one day, I haven't been behind the wheel in over 20 years. And they gave you your license without I'm, testing you? And they gave me, well. And I, do you still think you're going to no, be a better no, driver than me? He does. He does. I scored almost perfect on the exam. And you know what's funny? You can get up to six. You can, theory, I used to score so perfect on my biology exams. I didn't know what it looked like under a microscope. Can you open up for me? How'd you, how'd you do on your uh, math exams? What does that have to do with the price of tea in right? China? Because you're talking biology. What does biology have to do with driving? No, I'm saying you're I saying could in... I could get ace a test <laughs> on paper, but that doesn't mean practically it transfers into real life. Right. Just saying. Right. Gorge. All right. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Don't you do that. Instead of Adam telling me to slow down, by the way, he'd be like, hey, Stop signs. Stop signs. We're going to obey stop signs. Let's, and then here's the other thing he does. Here's the other thing. Ho, 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 ho. I'm having so much fun. It's hot in here. I think I'm yeah, nervous. You probably are nervous. So tell us about the experience. The experience of being behind the wheel? <laughs> Wait a minute. I thought you were supposed to be like giving me directions here. Directions? And GPS? I'm just praying for my life. GPS? Well, I guess I'm Oh, I guess old. I do. Okay, should I shut this off for real? I'm Let me give you directions like you give me directions. I'm trying to think what I can do by memory. <laughs> this is how you give me directions. Yeah, we'll be there in five minutes. Hey, brother. <laughs> Are you having fun with this? <laughs> yes. Wow, first time on the road. First time on the Whoa, road. Whoa, you're kind of driving fast. Over 20 you have precious cargo really? in the car. We're doing 40 miles an hour. You're that's fast. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Or like, this is, okay, this is a perfect example. We're about to pass a bus. We are about to pass a bus, yeah. And he'll be like, that's close, that's close. Well, yeah, when you're but driving it's miles like away. this, over, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, wait, when you're driving like this. It's half, a Jersey thing. Half over. It doesn't matter, there's nobody in that lane. And, you know, normally, <laughs> um, most people, wouldn't notice that except here there are reflectors on the lanes well, you can do it and when you hit them sometimes he falls asleep and it's not fair <laughs> so honestly what was it like in there taking the driver's test um well it was kind of funny because they had it spread out so that you couldn't sit next to anyone i happen to be one of the first people COVID. in there yep so I was fortunate. Do you know what that means when that person has that light blinking on the? That means you go around me? No, that's normally not what that means. He just waved me around him. So anyways, it's do we have any idea what the directions are here? I believe we just have to find 215, but should I shut this off? We just, yeah, let's okay. shut this off and find. So what was the experience? Experience. So what was the Homer experience? Side. Well, uh, you know, we showed up this morning and when we got to the DMV, there was no guarantee that I was going to get in, but I brought a backpack. I was prepared to spend the whole day and I'm grateful. I was not. I was prepared. This is yeah. the best I've ever looked because I got out of bed, put on a jacket, some Ugg boots and got in the car and that was it. Adam made me a coffee, which I accidentally left on the counter. Because you know why? We don't have any coffee mugs for the car. That's something we, we have to get. We don't have any travel mugs, yeah. And so, that's why I look so incredible right now. My hair looks great. Anyway, so I we had anticipated that I was going to drop Adam off. He was going to have to stand there all day. Yep. And then I would come back and pick him up because I got things I have to work that I have to do. Um, so now I'm going to be working a little bit late tonight, but that's okay. Anyway, that didn't happen. Because 
when we got there. Um, I got in line out front. Thankfully, there were not that many people there. We got there first thing this morning before it even opened. And there was a very energetic woman who came out front and was asking each person who was in line, what are you here for, what are you here for, kind of directing traffic, pushing people towards different lines. And when she got to me and she asked, you know, why are you here? I told her, uh, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that I could get in to take the written driver's test today. And she said, I don't know if we can fit you in, but I'm gonna check, there's a few people in there already. Come back in 30 minutes. So we said, man, 30 minutes, uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna get in or not. But it was really good timing because we were starving. Yes. We didn't plan out like food or anything for the adventure. Well, I, I brought a backpack full of water. Uh, and like energy bars, energy. but I'm thinking like a pregnant woman. Like I'm thinking he needs a meal. I'm, I was I was like, I'll drop you off and I'll go to Starbucks and I'll get you a couple of wraps, drop them back off to you. So you have them for throughout the day. Go ahead. So we end up leaving for 30 minutes. We go, it wasn't even 30 minutes, maybe 15, 20 minutes. We run out, we grab, you know, a couple of- uh, Look at all the sun rays. Sorry to cut you off, but look, I told you my mom was involved. All the sun rays coming in. Okay, go ahead. So we go, we grab some coffee, some quick breakfast on the go. We pull back up and I see the next wave of people kind of showing up, I guess, for appointments, because everything is supposed to be by appointment only. And I'm of COVID. just Yeah, because of COVID, and I was just determined, listen, whatever I gotta do today to get in there, to get my license, I'm gonna get it done. I don't want this put on anyone else. I know, you know, it's been a challenge on, on Ro, puts a dick, additional stress on, on her. Uh, so I'm just trying to make life easier. And I was committed to doing whatever it took to get that done today. Well, also it puts stress on you because like if you want to yeah. do something during the day, like here's an example. Yesterday he could have had a business situation, like a meeting, right? But he had to work his schedule around my work meetings where now he could just take the car. Like I don't need it, I'm working from home. So it was stressful a little bit on both of our ends. Or like, you sure. know, late at night, and I'm like, hey, I need some ice cream. I have to be the one to go uh, get it. Now it comes out. <laughs> so, so yeah, we show back up, and when we get there, we realize that uh, this woman is gonna let me in. She's gonna give me a shot. So I hang around, I wait in line again, and it's the question is, how long am I gonna have to wait? know uh, am I gonna be here all day are they actually gonna let me take this let me go stand in line and wait and see how this goes ah! <laughs> right <laughs> he does it in a conversation not just in the car <laughs> like if he wants you to stop so he can talk nobody can understand me so do you hate me right now no, it's quite alright. Do you right. want to pawn me at the this, pawn shop? This is all get back, right? <laughs> it's not even close. This is all get back. <laughs> it's not even a little bit close. Okay, go ahead. So, I make it into the DMV. I have to wait in line for the information window. Thankfully, it's not crowded. Um, the first shift of DMV workers are the only ones who are there at that time. And I hear them talking about the next shift coming in. So I'm there at just the right time to not only get in uh, and get in line, but as these additional workers are coming in, now things are speeding up. I get up to the window, I tell them what I need. She helps me out right away, fills it out and says, okay, you can go over there and uh, get in line to take the test to the exam room. So I go to the exam room and I show up there and there's only one person in there taking the test. Oh, cause of COVID they only let one person at a time? No, there's actually, but it's set up, the computers are open, every other one, there's only one person in there. Oh, wow. So I go, wow, this, I, I lucked out, right? I go in, she checks my paperwork, uh, I pay for it, she goes, you know, go ahead, you're over at terminal number three. So I sit down, I put on the headphones, it's touch screen, I listen to the directions, I'm like, okay, I'm good. Meanwhile, this other woman's been in there this whole time, right? So I sit down and I'm like, let's do it. You gotta answer 25 questions. You can only get six wrong. If you get six wrong, 
you're done, you fail. I said, I got this, no problem, right? So, I began taking the test. And within, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes, they tell you to expect it to take about 30 minutes for the test. You studied a lot though. He studied on the plane the whole way back from New Jersey. It was a six hour? five or six hour flight five and a half hour flight and he's been studying like you deserved to pass that in five minutes you did and there were some weird nevada driving rules let me tell you because yes, jersey was weird with our drug handle drug handles no with our jug handles like you can go left on red when one ways i don't only know. on a one-way street meeting another one-way street <laughs> someone study then you can go left someone on road. Study. <laughs> okay sorry <laughs> i cut you off i'll let you go again it was a delayed reaction. We're already at the light. We are at a red light, just so you no, know. No, I was oh, erting. It's green, green now. Go. I was erting er your, me interrupting you. This is going to be so fun. Yeah. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> About as much fun as I had for half a year. Your backseat driving. So. Sorry, my arm's falling off. Okay. And. So you took the test 10 minutes past. Took the test killed it got so, in and out you should have seen the look on the poor woman's face who was in there when i got in there who was still oh, there that would be me when i left she looked at me like are you kidding me oh. you just did that yeah or she was probably like okay eh, well, loser me, well, you probably just you. guessed failed or does it tell you right then and there that you oh, it guessed? tells you right then and there oh, that's cool yeah as soon as you fail you're done get out so the great thing was maybe she thought you failed and you were er <laughs> Listen, throughout my youth, I never, ever studied for tests. I never did the work. I didn't. I didn't have to, but it's different nowadays. I was able to squeak by, but I never felt confident. I went in there today feeling confident. I killed it. I was proud of myself when I did that. And from there, I went to the next uh, stop where I had to take my results, go over to another line to wait. And at that line, it's my first time trying to do, do this. Do you know the code? I do. Remember, I have to use the code to get in. Ah, oh, my arm's on. Wow, they're still going. Those leaf blowers outside have been going since at least 6 o'clock this morning. Which, of course, somebody was like, what about when you have a baby? 6 o'clock in the morning. I mean, I'm sure baby will be awake already, but oh, come on. Have some respect. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Go ahead. Kind of crazy with the leaf blowers that early. Yeah, it's a lot. I mean, I could sleep through anything, but go ahead, keep going. So I go, I get in this next lane, line, and as I'm waiting in line, you know, I'm looking, I'm like, which one's probably gonna be my best bet? Because I already have it mapped out in my mind what I need to do, right? I'm hoping. What do you mean? I'm trying to get a waiver. I'm trying to get. Oh, you know that you knew that was such a thing? Yeah, because of the last time Great we were question. there, uh, we got a little inside information that because of COVID, there was a possibility that they could grant you a waiver. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. And not have to take a driver's test, the actual driver's. And since, you know, I killed it on the written part, why not, right? So I sit down and very, very, such a helpful woman who was there was willing to work with me, explain my situation. Listen, we got everything, came to a quick understanding of, of what my situation was, what I needed, and she went and spoke to her supervisor and got me the waiver. Careful. That's awesome, so then what? Do you have enough room? Hmm. Yeah, I have tons of room. I'm a little tight on Just this FYI, side. when you open the door, like if you did that at a red light, yeah. it puts the parking brake on automatically. Really? So you have to shut it off. Wow. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. I, did, I found it out the hard way. But go ahead. Keep going. So this woman was exceptionally helpful. And I was really, really grateful, come to find out. She has a son who's in prison here in Nevada State Prison. What are the odds? She saw my pay stub from Hope for Prisoners, knew about Hope for Prisoners, and talked about... Hope for prisoners um, saves the day once again. Once again. So we had a great conversation. She was very, very helpful. I probably could have been in and out of there in 30 minutes less than what it took. 
but I really didn't want to rush things. She was super helpful and I wanted to listen to everything that she had to say. Hopefully I was able to help her just a little bit because it, you know, she's a mother. I know what that's like. I know what it was for my mother. And it really sounded like she just, she needed someone to listen. Hmm. Uh, so although I knew you were waiting in the car, I knew that you would understand that. I didn't want to leave you waiting, but. You weren't like my pregnant, hangry wife is in the car. <laughs> I Who told, has I did work tell, to I did do? Tell her that. I I dropped the the Why pregnancy you... card. We're pregnant, and and she was I like, really, "Great!" Really and then just kept talking. License. Well, the funny thing was when she oh, went true. when she went over and she spoke to her supervisor and, and another person, and I I saw them going back and forth, and I told her I said, "You know, listen, I'm not a 16 year old kid." I said, "I get it. It's been 20 years since I had a license, but." due to COVID, due to the fact I'm 45. What are, we, what are you gonna give me, a permit? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I would be permit. like her mom in the past. I've, <laughs> if you're gonna let me drive on the road with someone in the car, why not just give me a license? That anyways. was a good argument, what'd they say? They said, you know, you're right. Hmm. And they came back and said, we got you. Here's your driver's license. We're gonna go ahead and wave that. Go over there, get your picture taken and they drop that in the mail. So I have a identification card with a piece of paper that says I can officially drive in the state of Nevada. You Ooh. were skipping when you were walking to the car. I bet I was. I have an Instagram story. It was so cute. Like run skipping. It was so cute. He was so excited. I'm not going to say I wasn't excited either because oh. one, I get to backseat driver. Payback. Number two though, honestly, there were a few times where I was like holding in having to pull over and get sick on the side of the road. I was that sick. Mm -hmm. It would have been helpful if Adam could drive. Or like a couple times we stayed yeah. out a little bit later than we yeah. normally do and had a long drive. It would have been nice if I was able to just kind of like conk out yeah. in the passenger seat. Not that I would do that to you. I don't really sleep in the car very often, but when I'm sick and, and exhausted like that. Completely understand. Very helpful. What about driving across the country? Would have been nice to have some help with that. Yeah, but I don't see, I don't mind being the driver. I really don't. What about those eight hour days? If somebody doesn't have backseat driving, that's really <laughs> Which it's funny until you get pregnant and cranky, but that's what paybacks are for. Yeah, we need to wash the car. Do you want to drive to the car wash in a little bit? That is something you can drive for. You guys, I am petrified of the car washes where you stay in the car. We don't have very many of those where I come from in Jers. No, you just... Give, you get out of the car, you leave your keys in the car and they take it through. So the first time and I couldn't see and my car's moving, talk about anxiety. So you are more than welcome to drive through there. Just don't get the rims all scratched out. Says the girl who hits a curb like every other day, but that's okay. All right, this is getting long. We love you guys. Congratulations. Driver. One hour later. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm running to the store really quick because we ran out of stuff for salad and baby's craving a salad so baby's getting a salad right i just got in the car and i feel like i fell in a hole i wish you could see me I'm on the floor because adam was the last person to drive the car how do you preset these puppies look at this how do i even show you how far down i am i don't i'm like an old lady that can't see over the steering wheel right now <laughs> this is great love you guys love you guys Mwah.